half of a quarter of an eighth of a number is equal to one half plus one quarter plus one eighth. What is the number? Well, let's first of all work out what this is actually equal to. And we can use equivalent fractions for that. I'm going to write a half as four over eight, put them over a common denominator of eight. A quarter is two over eight, and one over eight is obviously just still one over eight. And that's going to give us seven over eight. Now, um, I'm going to do this method, do this question two ways. I'm going to do it with algebra, but I'm going to do that second. And then first of all, I'm going to do it just uh, using the idea. So a half of a quarter of an eighth of a number. I can imagine that I've got my number and then I am times in by a half. And then I'm times in by a quarter. And then I'm times in by an eighth. And that's going to get me to seven over eight. So now I can just go the opposite direction. I'm going to times by eight and that will take me to seven. Then I'm going to times by four, and that's going to take me to 28. And then I'm going to times by two, and that's to take me to 56, which is going to be the answer. So I've just done the inverse operations. Method two to use algebra, if we've got a half of a quarter times an eighth, if I want to multiply these fractions, then I just times the tops and I times the bottoms. So that's going to give me um, x over 64. So you can imagine writing this as x over 1 if you want. So this times this times this times this is just x times 1 times 1 times 1, which is x. And then 1 times 2 times 4 times 8, which is 64. And that is equal to 7 over 8. Um, and you can do it even more quickly now. So it's going to be, so I actually, okay, maybe it depends if you've uh, covered solving fractional equations. But I can actually times through by 64. A bit like when you, yeah, okay, when you have like x over 2 is equal to 4, you times through by 2. It's the same idea that we're dealing with fractions. And what we can do is we can write it as 64 over 1 times 7 over 8. And in fact, we just times the top. But here's the thing, you don't actually need to work out 64 times 7 and then divide by 8. You can actually cancel them down more quickly because 8s go into 64 8 times. You can actually divide top and bottom by 8. So we're clearly going to get our answer of 56 again. I mean, this is conceptually a little bit more difficult with the algebra, but it is worth learning. So I hope I've made it clear. Both cases we get uh, 56.